a very nice pattern has been introduced by IT. It shows their innovativeness. A function is given and this problem is having properties of comprehension as well as matrix match. We have been given a function and we have to analyze it to identify the identify the truthfulness of the given statements. There are around 10 statements in these three column distributed. Let us start analyzing them. We will differentiate the function 1 plus 1 upon x minus ln x minus 1. And f double dash x comes to be minus 1 upon x square minus 1 upon x. Now, the first statement of the column first says fx is 0 for some x in 1 to e square. Column first, first entry. We will calculate fa and fe and we will use intermediate value theorem. At x equals to 1, the expression is 1. At e square, it is e square. This is minus 2 e square. So overall minus e square plus 2 is negative. Therefore, this is less than 0. That's why using intermediate value theorem, we can say this statement is true. The second statement is about f dash x. f dash x at x equals to 1 and <coughs> e f dash 1 is 1, whereas f dash e is 1 upon e minus 1. So again negative. So I will say the statement is a true statement. The third one, f dash x is 0 for some x in 0 to 1. This is f dash x. We will sketch the graph of f dash as it is appearing again and again. When x approaches to 0 from right hand side, it approaches to infinity. This approaches to minus infinity. So overall, your function is approaching to infinity. And in the second statement, we calculated f dash 1 into f dash e is negative. So between 1 and e, there will be a root. So my graph will cross this portion. This is 1, this is e. And I shown that function is approaching to minus infinity as x approaches to infinity. As it is approaching to 0, this approaches to infinity, that's why minus infinity. So third statement is wrong. At 0 to 1, function is positive. The third is false. And for the fourth one, f double dash x is 0. It's not possible as it is always negative. So the fourth one is false. This is column 1. Now column second. <coughs> In column second, the first one is about the limit of function fx. This is Roman number 1. Limit x approaching to infinity fx. I will take x as common. <coughs> 1 plus ln x upon x minus ln x. When x approaches to infinity, this will approach to 0 using a lopital. 1 by x, this is 1. It approaches to 0, this approaches to infinity. Overall, this is approaching to minus infinity. So the product is minus infinity. <coughs> Therefore, first is false and the second one is true. <coughs> About the third statement, we can see the graph. It is absolutely right. And the fourth one, we can use this expression, x approaches to infinity, both are approaching to 0. That's why this statement is also true. Now let's come on the fourth, third column. Third column, the P1 is about increasingness of f. We can see f is positive in 0 to 1. f dash is positive. That's why f is increasing. That's why this is true. For q, they are asking about the function fx in e to e square. Between e and e square, f dash is negative. That's why function is decreasing. Again, this is the correct statement. 
in arc they are asking about f dash f dash is increasing but we know f dash is decreasing throughout its domain that's why it is false and in s f dash is decreasing f dash is always decreasing that's why this is a true statement now we have to match which is very easily identified and using that you can say 52 the d option is correct in 53 and 54 the same d option will be correct that's it